Hi, How are you? Introduction. Um, the outgoing president of uh, the Philom Chamber of Commerce of uh, Los Angeles, Mr. Rod Dumano. The incoming president, Mr. Uh, Vic Mercado. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Let me thank you at the outset for uh, inviting us here tonight to uh, join you on the occasion of the induction of the new officers of the uh, Philam Chamber of Commerce of uh, Los Angeles. Uh, in the same breath, uh, since I'm representing the uh, Philippine Consulate General of Los Angeles, let me also uh, convey to you the warm felicitations and uh, the congratulations of uh, my boss, uh, Consul General uh, Mary Jo Bernardo Aragon. Unfortunately, she cannot be here tonight because uh, she's currently in uh, Arizona on an outreach mission and uh, meeting with uh, uh, some Arizona congressmen for uh, sa, uh, an economic bill that we are campaigning for. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to uh, express the appreciation of the Philippine Consulate for the Filipino-American Chamber of Commerce uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, since your establishment in 2001, the association has already gone uh, this far and it has actually already established itself as an institution in the Los Angeles uh, business scene. And for this, let me commend um, the uh, former officers, the outgoing officers, and the uh, former officers of the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot underestimate the role of a Chamber of Commerce uh, for, a, for our Filipino-American community here in uh, California. Uh, for us, a Chamber of Commerce is not only an aggrupation of businessmen. It is a force for synergy of resources and efforts of our business so that they may mutually grow. But at the same time, it, the uh, Chamber of Commerce is important for us because we are trying to raise the prestige of the Filipinos here in Southern California. Unfortunately, uh, in our history, not only in the United States, but uh, around the world, uh, or uh, dispersal around the world as a people, it seems that uh, we have been primarily known as uh, employees. So uh, here's now the time for us to also uh, shine and uh, prove ourselves as uh, good entrepreneurs, uh, which, is, which may not only be the equal, but also uh, the better of uh, some of our counterparts uh, worldwide. So for us, the Chamber of Commerce in California is an organization in which the Philippine Consulate and even the Philippine Embassy in Washington has a stake. You represent the Filipino community and what you can do in the dynamic market that is America. But more than the uh, mutual benefits that uh, you can get from the efficiencies that arise from the association of business uh, firms uh, in California, the Philippine Consulate and the Philippine government also appreciates the potential of uh, this chamber in the strengthening of the economic, trade and investment relations uh, between the Philippines and the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, today's um, uh, international relations is no longer the exclusive preserve of governments and diplomats. For us, for international relations and, uh, and for the uh, relations among nations to be more dynamic, we should involve not only the government representatives, but the community. Business, uh, the business sector, and people-to-people uh, -people contact, people-to-people -people exchange. And you, as a Chamber of Commerce, represent one vital component of this. Now, uh, under the new administration of uh, Benigno Aquino III, we are promoting uh, trade and investment of uh, the United States in the Philippines. Now, one thing about Philippine, uh, one thing about American tourism, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is that um, it is the second largest market, uh, the United States is the second largest tourism market of uh, the Philippines. And one good feature of, of this also, one remarkable feature of American tourism in the Philippines is that uh, it's also composed not really much of uh, mainstream Americans, but of Phil Americans who are uh, taking their vacation in the Philippines. So we would like to adopt the same model for business in the Philippines. Uh, we now have good business relations between mainstream American firms and uh, Philippine firms. Now we would also like to tap the force, the energy of uh, overseas Filipino businesses like uh, the ones represented by uh, your Chamber of Commerce in promoting trade and investment with the Philippines. So uh, in this vein, uh, we would like to expect the Chamber to be more dynamic in this regard, uh, to participate more in trade and investment missions from the Philippines, and we will surely invite you whenever uh, we schedule a one 
and uh, we hope that uh, this will renown the, uh, the, bene the mutual benefit of both our people here in the United States and our people in the Philippines. Now, uh, since this is the induction of your new officers, let me congratulate the incoming officers. Uh, I know that it's uh, with some deprecation that some of you may be uh, uh, accepting the torch of leadership from the uh, uh, former officers, but uh, we are confident that with the support of the association and uh, its members, there will be no objective uh, beyond your reach. So let me uh, wish you the best and uh, enjoy the evening. Thank you very much.